Hi, Sandy here. Um, so, yesterday I posted a video of my sorting that I've been doing. And, um, I got a couple of new categories I'm kind of excited about. Um, okay, here's my cameras. And then on the back I just have this. This is just some paper that I reuse. And then bugs. L look at these bugs. Now, I've got them handy now, and I'm going to use them once in a while instead of being tucked in away in a book in a book that I never use. Um, for, like, Christmas and Halloween and birthdays, I specifically go to that book for, but not for bugs. That's kind of a, not such a specific thing. Well, so here's my bugs. Uh, and then this is... These would be for glue book pages, more or less. This is a, out of a book. It's a nice drawing of a spider with a grasshopper. So I've got those. And then, you saw my flowers, if you watched yesterday's video. <laughs> and my butterflies. And, uh, well, here's my flowers. I don't need any more flowers. You know, you, you just go through your stuff and you're like, gosh. I don't need anything. I don't need to buy anything. But I found something I needed. So I went on Pinterest and I printed some keys. I like keys. Uh, they're great for my Victorian pages and for embellishments. So I printed two pages of these keys and I cut them all out. And I left a little bit of a white border around the edges, you know, then they'll stand out better. And they're just too fussy cut. I had this much keys and these. This is all the keys that I had. So I had to have some more keys. So. I don't think I need any. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I don't think I need any more. And then I thought, you know what? I need some bunnies. <laughs> I don't have any bunnies. I just got it kind of silly. And so I started printing stuff uh, stuff from Pinterest. I downloaded some stuff and printed. I usually print, print nine things on a page and this is what I came up with. Um, like some teacups with a bird on it. That's really cute. I cut all this out. Here's another stack of teacups. I like teacups. And I like birds. I only downloaded one picture of birds. And mice. Mice are pretty cute. I've got, I've got this mouse. Isn't he cute? I have to be careful about his tail. I don't want that getting damaged. And then here's a cute little mouse watering his pot of flowers. He's got first prize for the sunflowers. He's adorable. And here's a little girl mouse in a pink dress flying on a bird. Her, her ribbon, bonnet ribbons flying in the wind. That's so cute. And then here's a cute little um, mouse. Um, I'm not, like with like bugs <laughs> with heart shaped wings like butterflies in his basket and here's a little bunny I can make tags and borders with these I like to have good subjects for my tags and borders they really make the page and look at this cute cute bunny in two teacups that's just adorable and a bunny and this bunny and this bunny, I just love having these things. These are, are the best things for subjects for, for tags and borders. They just make such cute stuff. So I got all these bunnies. I just in a mood for some cute bunnies. Aren't they cute? And then I printed these, um, like five by seven. These I printed on the same page and cut them out. This, these would look great on a glue book page. Oh, and one more thing to show you. I got something I'm going to work on. <laughs> I got this coloring book. At, we have a new store in town, um, five, five Below. Everything's $5 or less. And I bought a Mandela coloring book. And um, I will cut it all up when I'm done. And I will cut this out and decorate the edge of a scrap of a glue book page with it. And I, and I colored this one and cut it out. Um, and I, I can just visualize it on a on a page with a pretty lady standing in front of it, you know, and yeah, it's got to be awesome. So, never enough hours in the day to, to just play as much as I want to do. Okay. So, yesterday, 
I showed you I have all of these tags and I will never use them. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I decided I'm going to make some embellishments today. Um, so, I'm going to start by making a few Christmas ones. I'm going to pull off some red and green ones for Christmas and make some Christmas embellishments. Make a little couple little Christmas embellishments, I guess. And maybe one more. I need my punch. This has such a tiny hole I can't even see it. There. That has a tiny hole. I like bigger holes. And those are too tiny for me to make. <laughs> anyway. So. I've got my book of Christmas stuff here. And I'm not sure where I'm going with this yet. I, it's got to be tiny stuff. Um, so I've got this little bells here. I'm not going to be able to get much stuff on, on these. Let's see now. Well, that needs a little something else. So I'm going to look at these. Um, yeah, this is good. And I even put it on there upside down. Gee Louise. Okay, so I will put this little circle here. Then. Well, that's not going to work too well. Put that there. And then these bells here. So there's a little Christmas embellishment. It's so tiny. <laughs> so tiny. Okay, what else do I have? I need tiny things. All of those are pretty much too big. Will, they, will this stocking fit on here? Doesn't really matter too much of it. Well, that's so big. I do have some smaller things. Let me see what I've got. An ornament. Um, yes. So, we'll take this one. And we'll put this ornament on. And I've got a snowflake here. So I'll put the snowflake there. And an ornament. Nothing too fancy, but now we got two <laughs> um, embellishments ready. Okay. Um, get back in there. And then, um, let's see. I've got this little bird sticker. Yeah, it would go like that. And I will put it right there. I'll use another one of... This This was just perfect for Christmas. So, you know, just kind of having things oh, hanging off the page. There, there's another little Christmas embellishment. Um... Just they're so everything's so tiny. I have Santa's Christmas list. Um, I think I'll put a package on there with it. I've got some tiny little Christmas packages. Oh, okay. We'll put this right there and Santa's list right there. And you know, these are so still so small. 
Um, I've got stuff here. Let me see. Do I have any green rhinestones? Yes, I do. Yes, it needs it needs this. There's a green rhinestone. Eh, how about a second rhinestone? Yeah, it's coming together now. There, that's a pretty little embellishment. Um, I think I'll just add one little rhinestone right in the center of this circle. There. And do I have any red rhinestones? Let me see. Of course. Of course I do. So. Let me add a rhinestone to this one. Uh, there's just not much space to do very much with, but... They're shaping up. They're shaping up. <laughs> okay, we'll add a red rhinestone to this one also. There. Okay, well now they're looking kind of cute. I'll move them over here so we can see them. And then I see I've got a candy cane. Oh. I really need to pull this out. Sometimes I get lazy. And I need my little razor blade to scrape it off the page. I don't know what this blue thing is there. That's not supposed to be on there. Okay, candy cane. We'll put that right here. I think that's all that needs. Well, yeah, we'll add a rhinestone. Gotta be tiny things. Okay. <laughs> so I'm making some tiny little embellishments. Yay! Now I got these two little green tags. I need something very tiny. I don't know what I have that small. I've got an elf. Probably going to be too big. Well, it'll work. It'll work. Okay, but I need a circle. I will use... Let's see what I've got here for circles. Oh! I will use this glittery red circle. Put that right there. And he stuck to my desktop. And he's not going to stick to the paper very well. Well. I'm a little worried about him. I got to glue. I got to glue him. We'll make one more Christmas embellishment and then we'll move on to, oh, Halloween? Maybe a couple of snow ones. I got my snow book right here. I got snow and Christmas together. All right. One more little Christmas embellishment if I can. I got, oh, I got gingerbread man. Yeah. Okay. I got got to pull this little dot out of here. There. Um... Try to get things put away right away, so I got to get this back in the pocket here. Yeah, I usually glue these onto a sheet of paper, but I didn't. This is just a sheet of wax paper, and it's not going in there quite so easily. There we go. Um. Okay. Small rectangles. No, those are, those are... Why did I pull those out? Those are just two.
I don't know why I had those pulled out. Those are too big for my little tiny tags. Okay, I need something to go on here. I'm using some circles. Yes, I am. Oh, let's see. I'll use this again. That seems to be sticking good, but these, some of these are not. I've had them for ages. you got to use them, you know. Alrighty, I think I will add a little red rhinestone right there. And there, I just whipped up seven tiny little little Christmas tags and before I put them away in my book I like to um, scan my stuff just because I like to keep it you know and then I because I use it in my um, on my scrapbook pages and then I like to just go on my computer and look in my embellishment section and and I can look through and see all my stuff I'm kind of weird yeah I know Okay, so, snow, what have we got for snow? Tiny stuff, we need tiny stuff. I don't think we have anything. Well, we're not done yet. Well, that's the Christmas. There's some little Christmas tags, snow tags, that are blank. This is, that's scraps, snow scraps. Um, I can't believe I don't have, there we go, snow. That's all the bigger stuff. So this is all I have. I could put a snowman on a little, oh, this nice snowflake. Let's see my tags. It's got to be one of the bigger tags. I don't know. I don't really have anything small enough for this. So that's not going to happen. Okay. So on to Halloween and Thanksgiving. What have we got? That's little tiny for Halloween. Oh, lots of tiny little things. Good, good. This is pretty darn cute right here. A spider. Eek. And what colors? Don't necessarily have a lot of fall colors here. I'm gonna punch a little bit bigger hole. And there is just no room for anything else, but does that even look like a tag? Like, what's that doing on? Um, no, I'm I'm not gonna do that. That's a little bit disappointing. I, I need such tiny things for those tags. But there's a tiny, tiny pumpkin. Ugh. Do I have any orange or black little circles? this button. Okay, I'm going to glue both of these things on here. Okay, there's a tiny little Halloween embellishment. What else do I have that's tiny? I've got tiny stuff. I've got some tiny things. But 
let's see now I just oh I'm gonna pull this page out I've got I've got this stuff too but it's so and speak there's a super tiny little tag right there uh, I'm not gonna pull this out and this needs to be glued onto the pages and arranged this is what I do when I get extra stuff I've got everything all nice and organized and then I get more stuff so I just put it in a page until I get around to using it but for those tiny stickers <laughs> those tiny little tags I do have I gotta use Halloween colors though orange and brown here this is brown um got a little witch here she can go on there not room for much else though but hey I'm using up some of my little tags uh, there's my there's my little I need to poke out this hole. I, I like to see that there are tags with holes in them. Oh, my dog's carrying on. They were outside a while ago. So that's that's pretty simple. It's a witch tag. And I've got three of these brown. Well, I have a few of them. I can make kind of a set. Kind of a set of these. Oh, those dogs. I will be right back. I gotta look at the Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, let's see. I've got a little spider here. Yes, I'm going to use these tags. I am going to use them. I got a little haunted house. Now I can see myself using these on a using these up on a on a border. I got Frankenstein. And Spooky. I got a uh, uh, scrapbooking catalog at a thrift shop. And these were actually stamps, and I cut them out. I don't waste anything. <laughs> I am so frugal. Um, let me push this out of the way. I really am glad to be getting these used up a little bit. Because they would have just sat there for years. They've been there for years. Okay, so I got myself a nice little set of six tags. I'm going to put these on my hand and hold them a little closer to the camera because they're tiny. There. And, and ugh. I wonder if I have any orange rhinestones well they're not quite orange but they will do I just can't put much on these because they're so tiny um, so I will put a rhinestone on each one of them just to jazz them up And 
so the the adhesive is sticking to the to the plastic. So I gotta wrestle with this a little bit. Not easy working with tiny, tiny things. So I'm just going to stick these back on here for another time and I'll make sure the adhesive comes off with them next time when I'm not on camera. I don't know what I would do without my um, razor blade. <laughs> I'll make this look like a moon in the sky, sort of. But for the most part, I'm just sticking them on there someplace. And yeah, those are a little bit more perky now. Seven seems to be my lucky number here. Because I did this, this stamp. And I just happen to think I've got some stars. Do I have any tiny stars in here? Yes. All right. It's going to need a little bit of glue. Put that right there. There. So now I've got seven little Halloween tags. I'm so excited I'm using them. <laughs> okay. Let's slide this back in here. And we'll move on to Thanksgiving if I have anything tiny enough. I've got a lot of leaves. I have a tiny little turkey. That'll look good on this one. And, oh my, there's some good stuff on here. Are we going to go for lucky number seven again? <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Um, this is kind of brown. We'll go with. A leaf. And oh, here's something bigger. What can I put on this? Oh, 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 oh. Little tags on little tags. I've got these. And I probably would never have used them. It says, um,. November, October, and fall, y'all. Okay, this is brown. What have I got small enough for that? I know I'm off off camera. I've got this owl. I think I'll use that little tiny owl. It's the challenge. It, it, they're so tiny. You gotta find tiny little things to use on them. Come on, owl. Okay, what? Which one am I gonna use this on? That one. Um, that's a good color call for it too. Where's that page I just pulled out of? There it is. So I'll pull this little tag and we will put Give Thanks on there. And I go with Fall Colors.
a nice little cornucopia. Um, this is a nice leaf right here. I'll, oh, I'll put it on the yellow tag. I don't know if I've got seven. It's just <laughs> turning out that way. That's not really my plan. But I've used a few of the tags. Okay, time to start gluing things. What do I have here? Do I have anything like brown, autumn colors? Green is, all, is a good autumn color. There's some more. Oh well. So this says fall, fall, y'all. Um, so this one says November and it's got a, a little turkey on it. just keep this one simple that's got a cornucopia of food on it this one says give thanks and I'm gonna go ahead and order add a couple of rhinestones make sure the adhesive came off with that one they're they're just so tiny. I'm not used to working with such tiny things. Okay, so I got this little one. It says October. With a leaf. Then I've got to doctor up this one a little bit. Um, so I'm using up some of my circles. Do I want a rhinestone on that one? Why not? Okay, so there's a little owl. Give thanks. Fall, y'all. The cornucopia. November. And October. I'm going to put the October. Well, it doesn't matter. And I'm kind of glad I, I did wet for the holidays and stuff instead of just trying to figure out everyday ones and I will be doing that soon okay so we did the uh, Halloween and Christmas Halloween and Thanksgiving so this is uh, St. Pat's 4th of July New Year's I'm not going to do any New Year's or Valentine's Day I got I just I don't do much Valentine's Day Easter yes I do Easter so I gotta find my tiny things for Easter so 
so pastel colors would be good for that. Um, hmm. It's just hard finding something tiny enough. I got eggs. Oh, I found some bugs. Those, those need to go on my bug page. This is actually my garden page, so I'm going to leave it there. I have a garden page in with my Easter. Let's see, that's gardening stuff. Oh, let's see. I have this tiny little sticker. That'd be cute. On. I need to use up these. Green. Yeah. So there's an Easter tag. And we'll get, come up with more. Um, there's plenty of tiny things on this page. So I'm going to pull that out. We'll just make some Easter egg tags. So I will put, let's see, this on... here and this one on it's blending in too good with the background <laughs> here I'm not gonna get too fancy with these I don't think um another one that size I'll put it on this green one. So there I've got a set of three little Easter egg tags. I've got these tiny little tags. Um, what else can I use? It's just so tiny. <laughs> hmm. I got these little tiny chickies. Chickies. And I will put that on this one. I don't exactly match, but I'll put this one on here. there so there's three tiny little chicks tags okay So I got some Easter eggs and some chicks and a bunny. So there's seven O's. Now, let's see. Now I'm going to pull out my um, tiny butterflies and stuff. going to use up these tiniest, tiniest of things. Where's my little circles? So... Well, here's tiny for you. Here's a tiny little flower on a little round sticker. And 
and I'm going to add a butterfly. So I've made hundreds and hundreds of tags in my day, and that is the smallest I've ever made. Okay, um, let me see. A little bit bigger flowers. I can go with some a little bit bigger flowers. So, let's see. They are kind of simple to make, but they're just so tiny and that that so limits what you can do with them. Okay. Well, here's a pink striped little tag. I'm going to finish these off and just put some flowers on them. That's it. That's it. So, and some of them don't fit very well. Don't stick very well. Now I lost my little tag. There it is. Well, I got such tiny butterflies. That doesn't stand out very well. Okay. I'm going to use this stuff. I am. Did I only have one page of these tiny things here? I've got more, but uh, these are handy. Well, we'll go with this one. There. Tiny little tag. Very tiny. Oh. There's a tiny little green flower on a tiny little tag. Um, I'm going to put this butterfly on there and a tiny little flower. I, I am trying to use this stuff up. I try not to waste anything. there. Um, okay. There's a purple flower. Oh, this is good. So now I've got some empty spaces on my paper, but that's all right. There's another purple flower. See, those aren't bad. What do you think? I'm kind of liking them. Yeah.
There. I wonder if I should have more of a contrast, but I think I, there's enough contra contrast. I'm trying to kind of color coat them a little, color code them a little bit. Okay. This one has some green on it, so I'm going to put it here. There. And you know what? These are going to end up being glued back onto the page until I'm ready to use them. So I think I won't even peel them off. Except for the holiday stickers. Okay. So... this orange one there pink one there there's a yellow flower I don't really know <laughs> if I'm really liking this it's better than better than it was I'll put it on that one. I got a purple foil one that will go good there. And you know what? I think I'm going to stop with the flowers and get me some butterflies. And uh, the rest of these, I will most maybe just save those. I don't have to use all of them up. Butterflies. Okay, these are flowers. Those are my tiny things. Okay. And I do have smaller butterflies someplace. There we go. Okay. I think I will put one of each of color of these on a sticker. Yeah, this is working out well, I think. I think this one's going to need some glue on it. <laughs> They're just so tiny, it's hard to add <laughs> more than one little thing on a... On a Let's see. Got like four left. How 
how would this look on it? Well, I need to clip it a little bit closer. No, never mind. I can use this one because it comes off. It's a sticker. There. Well, I didn't use a lot of imagination here, but we're making progress. We're, we're using these up. Let's see. Two more to go. Okay, so there, I've made some embellishments, and uh, I'm going to save these for another day. Except, except, no, this one, I want to do something with that one. That butterfly is not quite doing it for me. really don't know what I want to put on there. Now we're getting to bigger butterflies. There's some smaller ones. Let's see. It's the black on there. It's making it kind of hard to figure out what I want to go with it. So this, this video is probably getting pretty boring. <laughs> so, let's see. Pink and green. I like pink and green. Let's see how this looks. No, no. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Well, I'm going to wrap up this video, and thanks for watching, and um, hope I didn't bore you too much. But we used up these tiny little tags and made some embellishments, so thanks for watching. Bye-bye.